so what's up YouTube Tiffy Stacy here back with another video and this video is going to be about pH balance and why you need to know before you go out and buy something that is considered to be pH balance so please check out my other video that I did I did a video um, on pH and the basics behind that and why you need to know why it's important to know pH the pH of your products I just did that I'll put the link up top alright so what exactly is pH balance well first of all I want to let you all know that it's more of a marketing scheme to get you to buy products from companies that you may think that they have it in your best interest but they don't they're basically lying to you so but I want to make sure that I clear this up with everybody so you all know before you go out there and buy something that might not be pH balanced, at least in your mind. But anyway, so I want to, um, I have my definition here of pH balance, but I want to make sure that you guys know that I take this very seriously. Here's my cosmetology book. Um, but what it says in here, pH balance means that pH is balanced at a certain number, but not necessarily at 4.5, 5.5. Now, remember in the other video that I did, the pH video, pH um, video that I did just a little bit ago, about the 4.5, 5.5 range. Now, this is the range that you want your hair to be at. Now, basically, what that definition was saying is that. Your, your your products can be have a pH balance even at 8, 9, 10. It could be considered pH balance. But it's not necessarily what you want as far as healthy hair. You want your hair, as I said, to be that in between that 4.5, 5.5 range. Now, to really kind of drill this home with all of you, I came across this article. Now, this isn't anything about hair care. It's more about cleaning. And But I felt like this kind of drilled it home for me and it made more sense because I couldn't find anything about hair as far as pH balance is concerned so hopefully this will make sense to you now most products are pH balanced this simply means that the pH of a solution has has been designed to remove rust stains which would have a pH that is low enough to dissolve rust stains but high enough to leave your tubs enamel surfaces unharmed. Now to relate this basically to hair, I kind of thought of it as as the solutions that you use for your hair are high enough to get rid of the dirt but not high enough where it's gonna like burn or melt your your, your hair off. So that's what I kind of I kind of clicked with me. But I have an even better point here um, which says that this was about um, face uh, face cleanser so here's what it says for your face you want a product you want a product that's alkaline enough to get your skin get your skin clean but not so alkaline that it will strip it of the oils it needs it's unlikely that a cleanser or a toner on the market today would have a pH that was not balanced because if it did it would be so dry that no one would use it so it's basically saying that that all the products that you use for your face, your hair, are all basically pH balance. You know, they're not going to like melt your face off or anything. So, anyway, so I, there was this other term that I came across in this book here um, about basically how pH balance and in a thing called acid balance that's what you pretty much want something that's acid balance and what it what acid balance is defined in this is acid balance acid balance means just that balance within the acid range of 4.5 5.5 so basically when you're looking at products they're not going to say acid I don't think they do I think the more professional ones have that but I haven't really seen anything, you know, as far as that. But hey, definitely check it at your check out your products. Use your um, pH strips 
try to find out exactly where your um, products lie as far as pH because it definitely does help to know where your products stand as far as that. So I hope this helps. I hope this makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions um, and I can definitely try to answer them the best of my ability. Please hit me up on Twitter. Subscribe to me. You know, I'm trying to do these hair videos. I'm super busy, but I try to make time for them as much as possible. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for subscribing.